Welcome to 5 Minutes of Help for Informant 5. Today we will be talking about view filters and smart filters. View filters are a way that you can reduce the amount of data temporarily that is being viewed. The view filters are accessed by tapping the bottom left button in our view. It's the one that looks kind of like a, an upside down Wi-Fi signal. You can tap that button to open up the filter menu. You'll see at the top the word test. That is the name of my test filter that I have that's already set up. I can apply that filter just by tapping it. Below that you see show all. Very self-explanatory. If you want to see everything in the calendar, tap that button. Below that we can specify between our tasks and events. You'll see where it says events and currently show all is highlighted. That means there is no filter being used. But we want to remove some of our data so we're going to tap pick calendars. And any calendar that I deselect will have its data removed from the calendar view. The data is fine. It's still in the database. It's just not in view. So we'll deselect a couple of the calendars. As you can see in the calendar in the background, quite a bit of the data was filtered out. This is fine. It makes our calendar easier to read. Now if we want to bring that data back into view, we tap the filter button again. And you can do this several different ways. You can tap show all just below the test filter. Or you can tap show all under events. Or we can just simply tap the calendars to bring them back into view. Any of those methods will work to restore the data to your view. Each calendar view an informant is capable of having its own separate filter. So for example I can have a filter here in my week view that filters data a certain way and have still another filter for the agenda view that filters data a different way. It's an easy and efficient way to temporarily move data out so that what you were wanting to look at can be seen more easily and more clearly. One other thing with the filters is for tasks. You see that here in the dialog. You can filter your tasks by tags only. Same premise. Deselect the tags for the items you don't want to see in the view. Leave them selected for the ones you do want to see. In the actual task view itself, the view tags work exactly the same way. Obviously they're just going to be focused on tasks and of course it's the, the uh, tag option that we spoke of earlier. Everything works exactly the same. Now I want to talk to you about smart filters. These are used only in the task view and can help you make sense of your tasks in a very simple way. In the task view, this left side view is, is the view selector or the group selector. You can see we have inbox, projects, on down, then we get to filters, all active, in progress. Down below that is an area called smart filters. Smart filters are user-defined groups. For example, in the in progress group in that list, that can only show tasks that are currently in progress, one attribute. The smart filter, on the other hand, can show, let me edit the rules here and I'll show you, I have two conditions or two criteria that have to be met for a, a task to be able to show here. I have starred tasks equals yes and percentage complete is less than 40% very straightforward. Now I could go on and add more conditions in an AND phrase and I can do more conditions in an OR phrase. I can add as many conditions as I want to this smart filter and only tasks that meet the criteria of the smart filter are going to be, sh are going to be applied there. You can see in the smart filter I have called demonstration there are two tasks that currently meet the criteria one is called camera, one is called uniform. They're starred and if we tap into the task and look at the details we can see that it's that this one is 35 percent complete so that lines up with my rule makes it visible. Smart filters are a very powerful feature in the task view 
because they are user definable and you can set as many conditions as you wish it makes it very simple and very easy to get your data into a view that is smaller and manageable basically if you think of it as getting your data down into smaller chunks for your tasks to make it easier to look at we have customers that use one or two filters and we have customers that use 10 or 20 filters all with slightly different attributes informant will auto populate those smart filters as it finds tasks that meet the criteria that you have established well that's it for today's five minute hints with informant five if you have any questions please feel free to contact us or go ahead and contact our support department at pocketinformant.com forward slash support thank you and have a great day